Should my pretty eye and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Anwin for anyone who's new here and let's take a look at the brand new DLC for Planet Zoo, the Grasslands Animal Pack. Okay, and I thought I would start with the blue wildebeest first. And we've got the animal sign here as well. So let's take a look at the brand new animals. Oh, wow. I've tried not to spoil myself too much. And like I tried to avoid all of the screenshots so I can get the first look myself. And I was... I was sort of expecting it from the sign, but look how cool these are! These are so different to the black wildebeest. Look at you running through the grasslands. Yes! Hee <laughs> hee! Oh, I love the fur! Oh, you got a little injury. Oh. I love the fur. That is so cool. Wow, look at you! Blue wildebeest are so named because their coat has a blue sheen to it. Yeah, you can kind of see it too. That's really cool. Blue wildebeest are often seen in herds with plain zebra. The two species don't compete for food though because zebras prefer long grass and wildebeest can then graze on the shorter grasses. Next, I thought we could look at the emus or emus, however you want to pronounce it. <laughs> Murder birds. Oh wow, oh whoa, goodbye. Where'd you go? Wow, you're fast. Oh wow, you even got a little bit of blue on you as well. Look at that. Yeah, some are definitely like more white than blue and then more blue than white. Huh. Definitely got two different ones here. Um, What does it say for? The coat variation. Dark brown, pale blue neck. Dark brown, pale blue neck. Huh. But they look different. Hmm. Is it female? Oh, they look different because they're different gender. Huh. So that's how you can tell then. The males are have uh, got a, a lighter colour on their neck. Emus can actually reach up to a top speed of 48 kilometres an hour. Wow. Emu males incubate the eggs and care for the chicks. Ah, The red-necked wallaby. You can see the sign as well. Oh, you're going to be small. Oh! Of course, we got like more than one merging together. Hello. Oh, oh, they're so cute. Oh, I've started already. Look. Oh, look at your little bounce. You're adorable. <laughs> look at him doing a little clean. Oh, they are so cute. Oh, oh, look at the posture. Okay then. Oh, I love them. Little bouncy bunnies. Yes. Wallabies have multiple stomach chambers similar to ruminants like cattle, which allow them to regurgitate food to chew and swallow again. Huh. Occasionally in this species, one population of the subspecies living in Tasmania is entirely an albinistic. Wow. Let's take a look at the nine banded armadillo next. I think this one's going to be really interesting. Oh, you're so small! Hi! Oh my god! Ah! You're so cute! Oh, look at the little pink nose! Oh, you just make me want to cry. Look at you. Oh, hiding in the grass. That was the kind of the whole point of putting long grass in these habitats because they are grassland animals. So I did put little tufts of grass around for them. Oh, but look at the pattern. So I'm guessing this is the nine banded. I love the way they move as well. Like you can see the different 
bands or segments of the body and the spots the detail on the armadillo and like the fluffy belly too wow the detail on this animal the nine banded armadillo typically has nine bands on its shell so it is a shell oh unlike other armadillo species the nine banded armadillo cannot roll into a ball instead they escape threats by running away or digging a a shallow mound where they are protected with their hard shell. So I thought we would do the exhibit species next and this is the blueprint that came with the grasslands animal pack and the grasslands animal pack is a little different from any of the other animal packs we had in the past because instead of having one exhibit species we actually have five different butterfly exhibit species and they are all butterflies we have the monarch butterflies and the old world swallowtails so i can just put the camera oh wow okay I was expecting them to be so small, which I guess they are, right? And this has got to be an old world swallowtail butterfly. And if we go through the animals. Oh, wow. Oh, these are so pretty. There's a monarch. Now, these are the only ones that I kind of knew what they looked like. Oh, I love the monarch so much. I just so up for all of the butterflies like I want to live my fairy fantasy with just butterflies floating around me yes <gasps> wow look at the difference between the top and the bottom of the wing wow I want to see I want to see some flying butterflies obviously ah okay we've got a flying one. Oh, this is different to the bats i was expecting because like butterflies are a little erratic like the fruit bats i was expecting the flight pattern to be kind of the same but it's not oh look at you go i have no idea what butterfly this is oh oh i think i saw another one flying oh we got the yellow one flying too, right? Should definitely check the names of these, but I really wanted to see them flying. Yes, you're flying. Oh, wow. Oh, this is so cool. This one is the cloudless sulfur. I love watching them fly. So that's the cloudless sulfur. And that is the European peacock, which totally makes sense with the pattern on the wings. Oh, look, you're on a flower. Oh, wow. So many thumbnail, so many screenshots of the butterflies just beautiful so that is the European peacock and there's the European peacock I'm gonna fly oh wow I love these so much I know I'm gonna spend so much time looking at these just like the fruit bats and then this is the Menelaus blue morpho 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 and these are so interesting because they have such different wings on the front and the back. The cloudless sulfur, this yellow one. The cloudless sulfur is a mi migratory, mi migratory butterfly with populations from the USA often traveling to Mexico or the Caribbean over to over winter, like when it's cold, I guess. When migrating, the cloudless sulfur can travel 20 kilometers a day the european peacock very distinct shape on the butterfly wings the european peacock can make a hissing noise 
that is audible to human ears by rubbing its wings together, which appears to aid in warding off rodent predators. Huh. The Menelaus Blue Morpho. The Menelaus Blue Morpho mainly feeds on fermented fruit. It has been suggested that this food source intoxicates the butterfly, causing it to fly slowly and clumsily. So, so the monarch, when male monarch butterflies attempt to court and mate with females, 30% of the time they will accidentally grab a male and attempt to mate with them. And the Old World Swallowtail. The tongue of the Old World Swallowtail is adapted to feed on flowers with many thin, small thin tubular petals such as dandelions. The next animal I thought we could have a look at was the caracal. Caracal? Oh! And uh, it is a cat species and uh, if you're new to the channel I'm a sucker for the big cats oh my goodness they're so cute they're very similar to the lynx with the ear tufts these are beautiful animals Look at the way they move they move their ears that's so cool you're adorable. I love you so much. Beautiful eyes as well. Caracals are also known as desert lynxes due to their lynx-like tufted ears and bobtail rem resembling lynx characteristics. Still, the lynx and the caracal remain separate Genera. And next I thought we would have a look at the striped hyena. It's actually the second species of hyena for Planet Zoo. But these are so interesting. Oh wow. Didn't expect you to lie down immediately. But how cute. <laughs> Why do I immediately want to cry when they're cute? Why do I do this? <laughs> if you look at any of the showcase review videos <laughs> on my channel, I want to cry at every cute animal. <laughs> I don't know why, but there's just it's something about it that just makes me want to burst into tears. You're just so cute. Oh, look at the little feet. Oh, wow. Oh, would you hurt? No. I think it's because this just looks like a dog. <laughs> Gotta be like one of my favorites out of this DLC. I wasn't expecting it as well because they villainize hyenas quite a lot in like Disney and things. I can't help it. I'm like, move faster. Say it again! Say it again! <laughs> but they're very cute! I know they're like vicious animals, sure, but they're cute, so I don't mind. <laughs> the striped hyena is the national animal of Lebanon. North Indian folklore suggests that witches and wizards ride striped hyenas at night. Yes! I knew I loved these animals! <laughs> That's amazing! Okay. <laughs> oh, striped hyenas are known to dig up graves and scavenge corpses. They're very cute. Even if they are grave diggers. <laughs> and the last animal from the Grasslands Animal Pack that I'm going to show you today is the maned wolf. Wow, you're tall. Oh, and you immediately lay down. Look at the legs. Oh, she's a model. Wow. They're so tall. Every other animal has been buried in this tall grass. And look. 
It's barely coming up to the top of the legs. Like, this is a tall wolf. Kind of fox-like as well with the different colour tail and feet. Oh, just so cute. I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> they're both at the same height, the male and the female, and they're 90 centimetres tall. I'm gonna have to check what that is in feet, because I work in feet. I'm five foot eight. The timber wolf is 80 centimetres, so yes, this is the tallest wolf we have, because uh, the arctic uh, wolf is teeny tiny, seven. 71 centimeters the arctic wolf so the arctic wolf's the smallest but the main is the tallest wolf we have in game 90 centimeters tall the main wolf has particularly long legs which are an adaption for hunting in long grass maned wolf cubs are black at birth and their fur gradually changes to red as they age that was all of the animals from the grasslands animal pack the Official number is eight animals, but there are seven habitat animals and five different exhibit species. So that's actually like 12, not eight, but all of the butterflies be kind of grouped together. It's going to be really difficult to pick a favorite. Out of the butterflies, I think I really liked the Menelaus blue mofo with the different color wings and out of the habitat species that's gonna be really tricky i think the striped hyena they're very good animals from this dlc not a lot of build objects of course animal packs don't really add in any build item so if you're a builder it might be a little bit more tricky having different animals can inspire you to build different things and different DLCs can be interlinked with this DLC as well so if you've got like the Australia DLC the some of the animals from this like the emu the red-necked wallaby can link in with the Australia pack things like that the blue wildebeest in with the Africa pack they can be kind of linked in together to use more of the DLCs but uh, for the amount of animals we get I would definitely recommend this pack I'd love to know what your favorite habitat animal and exhibit butterfly was from the grasslands pack and this DLC also came with another scenario career scenario just like the Twilight pack it's kind of carrying on from the storyline from the twilight pack but you can't play it without playing the twilight pack i have played through the entire twilight pack scenario on my channel so if you wanted to catch up if you hadn't bought twilight and you've got this one i do have the full playthrough on my channel and if you would like to, me to play through the grassland scenario let me know in the comments as well and i'm gonna leave it off there I hope you have enjoyed the very cute baby animals in the background and you've enjoyed this video. If you have, smash that like button and if you haven't already and you would like to, it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I upload speed builds on Wednesdays and shorts tutorials on Saturdays. And I also have a TikTok where I share some Planet Zoo tutorials as well, so you can follow me over there as well if you'd like. I am going to be taking a little break over Christmas because it is my birthday. So next week, just Christmas themed festive mini builds and the week after, absolutely nothing planned at the moment anyway, uh, because I'm going to be taking a little bit, bit of a break. but come the new year we'll be diving straight back in to planet zoo having a look at all of the grasslands animals and everything if you want a career playthrough or just a build speed build i don't mind i like both <laughs> uh but yeah well i will see you in the new year uh so i hope you have a wonderful holiday if you celebrate christmas merry christmas nadolic clown and i will see you in the new year i hope you have a lovely time over the holidays and 
I will see you next time. Goodbye.